You know how sometimes a dream is so beautiful you want to have it again? Last night, in that limbo state between knowing and not knowing, I was visited by two characters, Andrea Rossi and Galileo. Going to a presentation is always more fun with a friend. Where is Galileo? Galileo! Hey, Andrea, you woke me from a great dream I was having. I was mud wrestling with Tycho Brahe and kicking his butt. I'd like to see that. Well, it was epic, I'll tell you. I bet. So, what's going on? I wanted you to come along with me to a presentation of the KKSK. Is this another of your crazy schemes to make heat super economically? That's what I am known for. Wow, well, that's way better than my reputation. I just invented modern physics, was persecuted by the Inquisition, and went blind. You know, the Pope told me that doing physics would make you go blind, but I didn't believe him. So consider yourself warned. Okay, thanks for the pro tip, but I didn't ask you here for advice. I wanted to show you a demonstration of the newest Icatus game. This can provide heat for business and is available now. Oh, good. I've been on your waiting list for a long time. Maybe this can help fight the global warming. What the heck is global warming? Forget it. You know, you can only watch that E-Cat song video for so long, you know? So show me something new. And now, let's watch E-Cat SA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation of the ECAT SK. Here is the ECAT SK. The most important thing we will tell you today is this. The ECAT SK is available now for industrial applications. If your business requires safe, reliable, competitively priced heat, we encourage you to contact us. We will tell you how to contact us later in this presentation. Andrea Rossi will now show us the ECAT SK. Good, uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ECAT. First of all, I apologize for my voice that in this period has some uh, issues. Uh, but uh, I will do my best. This is a module of uh, uh, 22 kilowatt uh, of power and uh, is, its uh, dimensions are 40 centimeters of late, 45 centimeters of depth and 93 centimeters of height. And uh, um, what you uh, see is the external box inside which there is all the stuff that you will see in the proceeding of this uh, um, presentation and uh, uh, you will see uh, uh, later a video of uh, any cat that is uh, working in a factory. What you can see here is uh, uh, um, uh, this blue box uh, is uh, the case that contains everything and uh, this uh, is uh, the remote control uh, um, item that is on board of uh, the uh, ECAT because uh, when 
<clears throat> we install the plants to sell the heat to our clients. We control the plants from remote, from our headquarter. And so this uh, uh, instrument is connected with the hub that is this one. And the hub is connected through an Ethernet cable uh, um, um, with the free door, free Ethernet door of uh, a hotel and uh, um, and through this uh, system we can uh, command and regulate the uh, operation of uh, our uh, plants a plant uh, is made of many of these modules for example uh, putting uh, uh, 10 of them one beside the other uh, we will have uh, in four meters we will have a 200 uh, kilowatts of rating uh, with the same depth and height of a box in uh, this uh, um, in this uh, uh, dome that we uh, dome that we see here, we have the inlet and outlet of the fluid that goes to be heated, and these columns that you see here are the uh, ne neutron bubbles. Uh, they serve to detect that there are no neutron emitted by the ICAT, and this uh, instrument that you see here is the counter of. Uh, uh, microsieverts per hour to control and detect that uh, there are there is no emission of uh, uh, ionizing radiations so that uh, the uh, running of the ICAT is perfectly safe and uh, I think that uh, for what concerns the description of uh, the module uh, uh, I um, uh, have finished now here is this is the Ethernet cable that will be connected with uh, the router and uh, and then uh, the, we have the cable to plug the ICAT to the grid and uh, that will be all and uh, uh, at this point, uh, uh, with uh, a much better voice, uh, uh, my friend Thomas Florek will explain to you the video that we are going to see. Again, this is the video that has been taken putting a camera uh, inside the, the ICAT so that you will see uh, um, how the ICAT works and uh, at the end I will show uh, the calculations of the power. Of course uh, this is not a scientific presentation, this is a commercial presentation. All the calculations that you will hear are calculations that have been made by the house. Uh, by our service and uh, um, we uh, guarantee to our clients that uh, the ratings and the efficiency of the ICAT is exactly what I am saying now and I take any liability for this and uh, thank you so far and now I pass luckily the word to uh, uh, my friend uh, Thomas Florek. Let's take a look at the inside. Here is a video of the ECAT SK operating in a factory. Let's begin with a description of what you see on the screen. The screen is set up into a set of seven views of an operating ECAT SK. View number one is the box in the upper left corner. This is the oscilloscope's video from which we can see that the voltage of electric energy that enters the ECAT SK covers five squares. We can read in the top left that the value of the side of every square is 50, 5, 0 millivolts. 
This means that one square is worth 50 millivolts. As you can see, the graphic of the oscilloscope covers five squares. Therefore, 50 times 5 makes a voltage of 250 250 millivolts. Therefore, the voltage of current that goes to the ECAT is 250 millivolts. Here you can see the ohm meter, which indicates the value in ohms of the resistor put along the cable that connects the control panel with the ECAT. There are 78.1 ohms. View number two is the upper middle area of the screen. This is the control panel. You can see in the front the radiator that recovers the energy used to cool the circuit, making warm air for heating the room. The display where you read 20 is an amperometer and voltmeter. The number you read currently by default indicates the amperes of the current that goes to the control panel, which is 20. You can see in the view of the controller that the operator is displaying the voltage that is going into the ECAT. As you can see, we can read 19 volts. Before, we have read 20 amps. From the well-known Ohm's equation, we know that watts equals volts times amps. Therefore, we have 19 volts times 20 amps. That makes 380 watts. Therefore, we are consuming 380 watt hours per hour. This energy goes almost entirely to the cooling system, and the heat dissipated by the control system is recovered and irradiated to heat the room through the radiator that you see under the logo with the cat. The American flag indicates that the ECAT is made in the USA. This control panel is extremely reliable and robust and realized by means of an industrialized system. It is designed to be controlled from a remote location. Leonardo Corporation supplies assemblies of these modules to be installed in industrial settings and they are controlled from the headquarters of Leonardo Corporation. The clients pay only for the thermal energy that is supplied from the ECATs. View number three is in the upper right corner of the screen. Here are shown the bubble columns to detect the emission of neutrons. No emission of neutrons has been detected beyond the background. Should neutrons be emitted, then you would see big bubbles. As you can see, no bubbles appear. View number four 
is the lower left corner. Here is the video of the spectrometer. Along the X Cartesian axis, you can read the wavelength in nanometers. Along the Y axis, you can read the counts. The height of the peaks, Y, indicates the density of the plasma. The value of the X indicates the wavelength. The room was perfectly dark and the sole light emitted was the one from the ECAT SK. The video screens of the spectrometer and the oscilloscope were oriented in a way not to project photons toward the spectrometer, while all the windows were shielded by black curtains. The spectrometer has been calibrated by an engineer of our team specialized in this matter. View number five is in the lower middle area. Here is the ECAT SK lurking out of the blue body. The light is very intense and it is not possible to look at it without eye protection with special glasses DIN grade 14. If the screen of your computer is 16 inches, then the plasma that you are seeing now is in its real dimensions. The reactor is a cylinder with 4 inches of height and 4 inches of diameter, and it is made with a material invented by Dr. Rossi and is custom made. When all the heat is not removed by a fluid, the reactor is cooled with argon that is recycled by the control panel. My friend Andrea Rossi calls this a ballerina. Andrew Rossi calls this a ballerina, and he says that he fell in love with this ballerina, but I think his focus on his job is making strange effects on him. View number six is all the way on the right in the middle. This is the measurement gauge of the micro sievert per hour. It detects ionizing radiations. The value during the test ranged from 0.06 to 0.12 microsievert per hour. These values are well below the limits of danger. They are about 1,000 times below the limit of danger, which is in the order of millisievert per hour, while we are in the range of microsievert per hour. View number seven is in the lower right corner of the screen. This is a scale to check that the block of the ECAT SK did not change weight. This is the Teslometer to measure if there are magnetic fields generated from the ECAT, which would imply the direct production of electricity.
the number 3.4 that you can see is in millitesla. This ECAT SK heats the room where it has been installed. In this photo, you see the monitor of the thermometers that measure the following. In channel room is the room temperature. In channel one is the temperature at the radiator that recovers the heat dissipated by the control panel. In channel eight is the temperature of the air in the heat exchanger of the reactor. We are showing all this to you for your curiosity. When the ECAT SK is installed in a factory, you won't see the plasma, and you won't need an oscilloscope or a spectrometer. The ECAT SK is in the nice box that we have here. It gets installed in your factory and it provides heat. You simply pay for the heat you use. It is a well-made economical heating system. It is an exciting new technology and it does not put carbon into the atmosphere. But the most important fact is that it will save you money and it is available now. Andrea Rossi will now go through some calculations about the operation of the ECAT. Okay. First of all, uh, please, Thomas, uh, uh, show me the enlargement uh, that uh, uh, section enlarged of the uh, spectrometer that uh, we have prepared. Okay. Uh, this uh, particular will be of interest uh, mainly for the uh, scientists, uh, if any, that uh, are listening to us. Uh, the, in, uh, in this uh, the section of the spectrometer that uh, here has been enlarged, uh, we have uh, a signature at uh, 437.2 nanometers. And uh, this signature is important because it is a possible indication of the existence of uh, picometric aggregates whose high density um, I think is at the origin of the energy gain and um, should be this, uh, this, this thing that uh, uh, turns up the, 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 the reactions of the effect. Who wants to go, to, to, to go deeper in the theoreticals can Google for my paper ECAT SK and long range particle interactions published on ResearchGate on January 24, 19, uh, several days ago. Uh, or more easy, just email to me uh, at uh, info at leonardocom 1996com and I will send you the link. This uh, said, let us go to the board that I have prepared for the, uh, for the calculations of the rating. Let's go there. <coughs> yes. Now, what uh, here um, is a uh, 
uh, is uh, here are numbers just put in in a scratch uh, paper uh, for for who is interested uh, to to see uh, how uh, we have determined the power of uh, the module of the cat um, I will be fast because uh, again this will not be of very much interest to our clients because they are interested to how much heat they they are receiving but uh, but can be interesting for um, 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 a more a more uh, scientific presentation uh, in, in a certain limit within a certain limits then along the Vienna equation to calculate the temperature of the of the plasma uh, uh, we uh, we have TK equals uh, 2900 divided by lambda where TK D with T T with K is the temperature in Kelvin lambda is the wavelength of the radiation that we have seen with the spectrometer and uh, uh, 2900 is the Vn constant substituting in the equation and we have that uh, um, the temperature uh, will be 2900 divided by 0 0.3575 that is the wavelength that you have seen in the spectrometer in the, in the spectrometer's um, graphic where uh, in the spectrometer you have seen uh, 357 but uh, uh, that is in nanometers while the equation of the n is in microns so since one micron is 1000 nanometers we will have uh, to write the 0 0.357 and uh, what uh, turn out uh, is that uh, the temperature of the plasma in that very limited part of the plasma you have seen that is the hottest one that is all the, the one that we will use to calculate the power is 8111 Kelvin just for your curiosity it is equal to 8384 celsius degrees and then we use this temperature that we have calculated to go to see through the Boltzmann equation how what is the power of the cat please give me uh, more space under yes uh, now we can see the equation number two what's equal sigma time epsilon time t to the fourth power time s don't worry it's very simple uh, sigma is 5.67 time 10 uh, to the minus 12 power it would be to the minus 8 if we were calculating um, square meters but since we are calculating square centimeters it become 10 to the minus 12 because one square centimeter is 10 to the minus 4 square meters epsilon is the emissivity that for the plasma uh, that is a black body should be one but we calculate 0 0.9 assuming the black body is not perfect t to the fourth power is as we have seen 8111 to the fourth which totals 4.3 times 10 to the 15th power s is the surface in square centimeters and this uh, the square that we consider is one square centimeter because the area that we have seen that is the area around the cathode uh, is 1.1 uh, centimeter long and has a diameter of 0 0.3 um, uh, centimeters <laughs> substituting in equation 2 we will have that what's equal um, 5.67 times 0 0.9 times 4.3 times 10 to the 15th power times 10 to the minus 12 power power time one which uh, believe me totals 21,942 watts which is 21.9 kilowatt of power which means that we make an energy equal to 21.9 kilowatt hour per hour and uh, now 
now we go to see the energy consumed by the system. Uh, so later we will be able to calculate the coefficient of power. We will calculate uh, we will see now the first width and we'll call it E1 it is the energy consumed by the control panel this is the total energy that comes from the out the plug of the outlet uh, of the grid and uh, as we have seen uh, during the video we have a 380 watt hour per hour of energy consumed this is the very total that goes to the cooling system, to the cut, and whatever else. And uh, this energy um, is uh, is. Uh, um, um, the energy that is not consumed by the cat that we will see later is completely recovered um, with the heat exchanger um, and then so the, also the, the heat dissipated by the control panel is recovered with the COP 0.9 then we see E2 is the energy consumed by the e cat which means the energy that actually enters in the e cat as we have seen in the video, we have a voltage of 0 0.25 volts. Um, uh, yes. Um, uh, see, there is, as you have seen in the oscilloscope, it is 5 millivolts times 5, which is 250 millivolts. That is equal to 0 0.25 volts. We have seen the, uh, that the resistance along the cable that uh, supplies the energy to the cat is uh, 78 ohms. And uh, probably you remember on the O, uh, we'll be able to see again because this video will remain on YouTube and on Vimeo. Um, the, um, and uh, you can see the photo of the ohmmeter that indicates a 78.1 Jessel and we uh, approximate to 78. Uh, the amps uh, along the equation of ohm is uh, amps uh, is volts divided uh, time uh, divided by resistance so amps equals uh, substituting 0 0.25 divided by 78 which is 0 0.0032 when we make uh, the calculation of watts along the ohm equation the watts are 0 0.25 times 0 0.0032 which means 0 0.0008 watts hour per hour that are consumed by the cat. Now we will consider the COP when considering both the scenarios. Can you give me, please, Thomas, also below? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, go down, please, go down, go down, down. Okay, stop. Um, okay. As you can see uh, in the last line of uh, the paper above, the COP considering both the energy that uh, uh, is consumed by the cooling system plus the energy that uh, is uh, consumed by the ECAT, we have 21.942 divided by the, the 20... <coughs> Sorry, 21,942 watts produced, divided by 300 watt hour per hour consumed, we have a COP of 57. Again, 21,942 watt hour per hour produced, divided 380 watt hour per hour consumed. We make this division, and the result is that we have a coefficient of performance of 57. But allow me. <coughs> to make you observe that uh, all the 380 watts are recovered at the COP 0.9 from the radiator of the control panel and 
if we consider the only the energy consumed by the ICAT, we have 21,942 watt hour per hour produced divided for 0.0008 watt hour per hour consumed. This means self-sustaining mode. Now, please give me the board below calorimetric comparison. Uh, please go. Stop. Stop. Down a little bit. I can't down. Go down a bit. Okay. Now we can see. Uh, um, I now I gave you an approximate calculation of uh, the calorimetry that more or less matches with the, the uh, with the precise calculations made with the, uh, the Boltzmann equation, the Vienna and the Boltzmann equation. We have. Uh, heated, we are heating a room of a factory that has a surface of about 3,000 square feet, which is about 300 square meter, and is high about 4 meters, which is about uh, uh, something less uh, than 14 feet. The the outside is uh, uh, about, uh, I, I reported the calculation that I made in the moment I was there, so are not exactly the same same data you have seen in the video, but more or less uh, we are close because the temperature outside is, is different. The temperature outside uh, was uh, zero Celsius, which is about uh, 32 Fahrenheit. The room temperature was about 16 Celsius, which is about 61 Fahrenheit. And uh, to obtain with this resort, with normal heaters, uh, you need about uh, between 20 and 22 kilowatt hour rating. Uh, so you need a boiler of 20, 22 kilowatt of power uh, to to heat up at these conditions with these resorts. My mathematical detail is the fan is 5,500 no, um, effective uh, uh, cubic meters per hour which uh, sum up to 6,700 kilograms. We have a delta T of 16 Celsius. The specific heat of air is 0 0.17, more or less. Go up, please. No, 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 down, 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 down. Okay, the power is uh, uh, 6,700 times 0 0.17 times 16 and makes about 20 Point 0.5 uh, kilowatt of power, or if you prefer, 20.5 kilowatt hour per hour of energy. Uh, we also made a test with an airflow of 330 effect effective cubic meter per hour. Can you go up, please? Uh, up, up, a little bit again. Stop. Uh, thank you. And uh, uh, obtaining a delta T of 312 Celsius, you may use the same equation and you again will arrive to a power of about 21 kilowatt hour per hour. Uh, power of 21 kilowatt. Uh, uh, that gives 21 kilowatt hour per hour. And uh, uh, now to, towards about the heat that is dissipated by the cooling system, it is recovered because as you have seen, we get uh, from a fan of 250 effective per cubic meter per hour. We, we get, uh, using the same equation, about 300 watts. We are consuming 380, so the COP is uh, it is not a zero 09 as written there that is a mistake but it is a 0 0.7 0 0.8 and uh, that's it uh, this uh, about the calculation again these are calculations made by me and uh, not by a third party but these are the numbers that we guarantee to our customers and uh, at this point uh, uh, with great uh, uh, pleasure f first because I can raise my voice <laughs> and second because uh, he is great uh, my friend Frank Ackland of Eckert World will uh, direct uh, the discussion that uh, uh, will follow up uh, from now on and uh, and so uh, you
we're going we're to set up for Frank here. Um, we will um, mention once again that the most important thing that we will tell you today is this, that the ECAT SK is available now for industrial applications. If your business requires safe, reliable, competitively priced heat, we encourage you to contact us. I good, Thomas? Yep, uh, you could probably get a little closer to the microphone. Well, I'll make it. I'll just... Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. All right, thank you. Um, I have been receiving, I, at, previous to this uh, broadcast and actually during, some questions for uh, Andrea Rossi. Um, first questions are going to be about the video that we've seen. Um, now you mentioned that you needed a, you need special lenses to view the plasma in, with a naked eye, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, did you have to put some kind of filter over the camera in order to film it or is that an accurate, I mean, is that, is that filtered? Well, we had to protect the camera. Uh, now, now I am not an expert of that because there was a specialist. We had to protect the camera, but the image that you have seen is, uh, is a pretty much representative of the reality. Okay. Um, a question here about the room heat exchanger. It says the video does not give much detail on its size. Well, uh, it is uh, a, a, a heat exchanger for 20 kilowatts, uh, so of, uh, for 20 kilowatts of air. So uh, the size uh, is about, uh, uh, I don't remember exactly the dimensions, but you consider about one meter, um, one cubic meter of a machine. Okay. All right. And um, follow up to that question is um, Does it run at 300C? Air, uh, air into the room is stated at about 35C. That would require hundreds of CFM of airflow to dissipate 25 kilowatts. Think big furnace fan. This is from Thomas on ECAT World. Yeah, sorry, can you repeat the question? Okay, it says, does it run at 300 degrees Celsius? No, no, uh, that, was an, uh, that was an experiment. That, uh, that, uh, that was the moment that uh, has been taken, the photography, uh, I was making an experiment. Normally, it works uh, with uh, temperatures, uh, with... Uh, um, with the temperatures to get 16 degrees uh, out with, uh, uh, um, with uh, the, the average that we have seen in the video. Okay. All right. Now I have a question, some questions about business. This is from Gianluca. He says, is it possible that the ECAT can be installed in a big building, presumably to heat it? Well, um, the question must be uh, distinguished on in, in two uh, phases because technically, surely it is possible uh, because this is what he does, what he uh, what does, which is heat. But uh, we cannot install he gets in <clears throat> households or in condominiums, etc., because we do not have the certification necessary to do it. And uh, um, um, waiting for this certification, which is much more complex, we have to install only in factories where we have the safety certifications that are necessary to get the authorization to install these uh, uh, devices. The reason why uh, it is easier to install to have the certifications in industrial applications is that in industries there are um, um, there are uh, operators that are certified uh, that can uh, guarantee a proper um, a proper operation. 
while uh, it is not possible in households and uh, so it will take more uh, uh, still more time i think it will take many many plants working before we get the certifications for the households okay so the question then is uh, another question about agriculture uh in 2017 the 14.6 billion bushels of corn are required and require an estimated 2.7 billion to be spent on li liquid natural um, propane and natural gas would you open your technology for use on farms yes uh, this definitely is a field uh, that where we can operate because uh, uh, agricultural industries uh, are industries as, as uh, any other kind of industry so uh, if we are involved in this situation we surely can say our word so there's some other uh, agricultural applications suggested are pasteurization, greenhouses, heating barns and confinements for confinements for hogs, chickens, etc. Yes, and uh, I can add. Uh, uh I can add drying uh, uh, alimentary substances, uh, you know, in agriculture, heat is used in uh, innumerable situations and that is surely a very interesting field also because competitivity in agriculture economic competitivity in agriculture is extremely important because it is not high technology where you can have big margins because and so the competitiveness is more on quality than in price in agriculture uh, the competitivity is merely in price people buys where the product cost less so are you ready then to enter the agricultural market absolutely yes okay. thank you um, now this is just a general question here where do you wish Leonardo corporation to be in five to ten years time from now do you have a crystal ball <laughs> I can't answer this question because, uh, uh, you know, one what? thing is dream, right? But uh, uh, I had many dreams in my life that did not realize. So I don't think even that it can bring good luck to talk about that. So uh, um, and I am joking, but you know, what we want obviously is to diffuse this technology as much as possible partnering with powerful and well-introduced partners. Okay. I just have a new question from Ruby Carrot. You've met Ruby before? Yes. Hello, you, Ruby. She says, can you explain the graph in the lower left and explain the graph in the upper left and what is the dial measuring? Excuse me. I can... T I Excuse me, I, what? I think I, the I dial. Did not understand I think the, the dial she refers to the weight is the on the right on the, the lower right. right corner, and that's a scale that uh, is just set up to um, make sure that the ECAT did not change weight during the. Uh, yes, during, so during the, the in the so the the image in the uh, right bottom is a scale is a very normal scale, uh, very normal and uh, basic scale. The number the numbers are in pounds as you can see it uh, measures about 20 pounds 20 pounds uh, for not uh, americans and uh, british are equal to about nine kilograms and uh, this is the weight of the system and we have put a scale at uh, under the uh, the system to to control that the weight they remain it all the same so the numbers are pounds what was the other question i did not understand the graph in the lower left lower left is the spectrometer is the yep. graphic of the spectrometer in the x-axis we uh, read uh, the wavelength in nanometers and uh, this is why in the equation we have made a zero point etc 
because the Vienna equation is in microns and one micron is 1000 nanometer and in the y-axis you have the density the density at that wavelength and uh, and this is the area around the cathode and this is where we have considered the calculation of the energy because uh, and this is very conservative because the plasma has a surface of about 300 330 square centimeters we just forgot to uh, we, we just considered only one and did not measure the energy around okay and then the top left the graph in the top left I, I already have said ah, top left no what is the top left yes uh, so the, uh, is the oscilloscope is the oscilloscope that is the see the trail the the graph of the oscilloscope that measures the electricity that enters the ICAT, not that enters the control panel this is the oscilloscope as the oscilloscopes probes have been put between the control panel and the ICAT. Okay. Next question from Bruce. Will the presence of the SK on a customer's premises affect their insurance? What documents will be made available to customers so their insurance companies can estimate risk? I am not able to answer to this question. Uh, the, pro uh, the problem did not raise so far. Uh, I will ask to my customer. Um, the, the problem, I am not sorry, I am not able to answer this question. But uh, I suppose, but this is a supposition and so can be wrong, that since uh, the apparatus has been certified, has got the certifications, uh, necessary I don't think it will affect uh, the insurance but this is just a supposition okay. next question there is a coal fired plant power plant that will close in Montana in the next few years and another that has recently been mothballed is the ECAT SK a reasonable solution that could keep these facilities providing electricity for the Pacific Northwest if so can the utility controllers get in line for the retrofit process? Well, this is a very interesting question and uh, of course is a problem that we already have put to our service. I have spoken with uh, uh, top level responsibles of uh, utilities that made of uh, power plants and uh, the problem must be divided in two. One is uh, technological, one is administrative. The technological problem is uh, not difficult to be resolved because uh, essentially coal makes it, ICAT makes it, and so they can be integrated. Uh, of course, it is not easy. It takes uh, studies, projects, etc., etc., etc. It takes uh, good engineers, etc., etc. But it can be resolved. It is just normal, good engineering. Completely different is the issue under an administrative point of view, because if a power plant uh, puts uh, any cat uh, in its system all the permits that he has are put in jeopardize and uh, uh, very likely are put on hold with enormous damages under an economical point of view as you can imagine so uh, this is uh, here, here are the lions uh, because uh, <laughs> Because, uh, uh, you know, to get permissions for a, for a power plant takes between 10 and 20 years. And you can imagine the consequences of this uh, consideration. So, it is much easier uh, 
to study ex novo uh, from the beginning a plant uh, working uh, with the steam made by a system uh, of assemblies of ikets then to retrofit an existing plant unless it is, it is a dead plant because obviously if the plant dies because <coughs> I am sorry <coughs> If a plant dies because its permissions expire or for some other reason, at that point it has nothing to lose to try the way of uh, they get. But this, uh, even this uh, scenario did not uh, yet uh, present itself to us. All right, next question. What became of the installation in which the company planned to use the SK to power a gas turbine? Are they still customers? Have they become operational? I think this is something you've been speaking about in the past. These are uh, in, in our research and development uh, room. So it is not, it is far from being a product it uh, we are studying on it it is my pet project uh, i believe in it and uh, uh, i think that we will arrive to very interesting results but uh, we are very far from uh, uh, have, having the possibility I must say, say that I am in contact with a very, very, very good engineer, a Japanese engineer that is an expert of turbines. And he has uh, made uh, uh, fantastic turbines that, uh, uh, that are very fit for our gets. And I think that along the trail, we will have soon good results. But so far, we are distant from having a product ready to be given to clients. Okay, next question from Gerard. What is the production capacity of the ECAT SK in megawatts per year? Well, uh, um, Please do you the math is very simple. It makes 20 kilowatt hours. It makes 21.9. Make make 20 to to make the calculation easier. You multiply 20 kilowatt hour per hour time 24 hours time 350 days, and you have the number. Okay, the next question was... I say, sorry, I said 350 days just to consider 50 days lost for some, uh, for some reason. Uh, how much time does it take to double your capacity? Is sufficient money available to upscale production to any size? Well, this question must be any technology does not exist. Uh, I can answer to the first part of the question. Uh, um, any technologies like infinite in physics, uh, but to 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 uh, re you know to reach the double of uh, rating, uh, it takes five minutes. You take two models and put them one uh, beside the other, but uh, to make one single model of forty kilowatts. Uh, uh, if necessary, uh, can take uh, maybe one year, but I don't see the necessity of this because uh, once you have, you know, it's like uh, to make uh, bigger bricks. Uh, why? Uh, you, with with b b brick uh, by brick, Rome has been made. Um, next question from Gerard goes on to the uh, domestic ECAT use, we've mentioned it a little bit. Um, is it right to assume that this can not be allowed until sufficient market penetration has been made, I guess on the industrial scale? Sorry, can you, I did not understand the question. Okay, can you repeat it? Yeah. Or rephrase it? Yeah, Regard, regarding the domestic ECAT, yes. will it only be 
available when you have had sufficient market penetration. Now I have understood perfectly. Yes, the question is correct. Yes. Um, is it a consideration that, okay, so you've talked about the remote monitoring of the industrial ECATs. Eventually, if there are domestic ECATs, will they also be monitored remotely? I don't know. I am not ready to answer this question. Okay. Normally, I try to resolve problems when I have problems because because we have to stay focused on the problems we, we actually have. I, I just want to ask, a domestic ECAT means like a home unit? Is that what that means? I think that's what they're referring to. Okay. Uh, like something what? to heat your home. Okay. Yep. When will the first ECAT generate... Sorry, ECAT SK generate electricity. Well, this is an interesting question that must be divided in many phases. Um, you know, the ECAT, as you have seen in the video, uh, produces some amount of uh, uh, current directly from the plasma because you have seen that uh, we have measured a three point or something. <coughs> sorry, millitesla uh, with the teslameter just uh, putting the probe of the teslameter adjacent uh, to the reactor. But uh, uh, now we we'll just thermalize it, uh, turn it uh, into heat. But, uh, uh, and I am not able to answer if we will be able to suck out enough uh, uh, electricity to make worth to get it and not just thermalize it. To make electricity with a cat is possible also now because energy is a, a commodity that can be turned in any other uh, kind of energy. Uh, you know, uh, heat can be turned into electricity by means of the uh, Carnot cycle that is the most used. Uh, make steam with the heat and then making a turbine produce electricity uh, with the force of the steam or as we are making um, in uh, in Japan um, um, making or I hope we uh, will be making in Japan uh, with turning a, a turbine uh, with uh, the heat with the heat with the air heated by the the you get with very high efficiency and uh, when when a turbine rotate with that uh, momentum you can you can get electricity you can get whatever you want so we must distinguish between electricity made indirectly by the cat and this is possible now but from electricity made produced directly from the cat and this is a big question mark because so far it is not worth the while I've got some more email questions that have come in as we've been talking from Julian asks, how much will it cost per unit of energy used? No, I want to not answer to this question because um, the costs of, uh, you know, we have uh, represented the COP. So uh, uh, that's it. The cost uh, of uh, to us of the electricity is obviously an issue that is confidential. And uh, and the price that we will sell the electricity at to our clients will be adjusted depending on the situations, on the amounts, and on many other parameters. I don't think he's specifically referring to electricity he's just any any use of the ecat heat it's the same thing it's the same thing yeah. but also because we do not sell electricity we right. sell heat right okay now he asks here again going back to the video gary asks what does the 19 volts and 20 amps power is this fans and pumps so in the video you have the 19 volts and the 20 Yes, Amps. is the yes. What is the question? What, what is it powering? Yes, that is the power is uh, as uh, they have seen in the video. The power in watts uh, is the product of volts time amps. Right. But so, what is it used for? Why does it? Why did? 
I don't understand the he question. He says, is it for fans and pumps? This is for the cooling system. I cannot enter in the details. Okay. Is the output intended to normally be steam or hot air from the ECAT SK? It depends on what the client wants. Okay. Is the green box holding the heat exchanger too? Which pre I, I, I assume they see if green what is blue. Okay. Well, is that holding the, the heat exchanger oh, also? Is uh, the heat agent is it inside that? No, because the heat exchanger depends on the kind of fluid that is uh, that is used. No, the heat exchanger is not there. Not in not in there. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Let me go back here. Oh, maybe this is the same one. Does the power into the controller also include the power for the fans and blowers? The yes, the power includes everything. That power is measured uh, at uh, the outlet uh, of the plug uh, um, connected with the grid. Uh, Gianluca asks, I would remember to, I would remind Rossi that in the EU, the heaters in big buildings are installed in a specific room that is opened only to technicians. So he says it's like an industry and only staff can enter into a heater room. Okay, I take advice of this and uh, I will take due information about that. We have to evaluate, you know, here is an important issue connected with this question. So thanks to Gianluca. The issue is this, when we make an installation, it is necessary that, uh, that our clients uh, gets the consulting of a certified engineer that must be certified by the locality where we have to install our uh, technology. Uh, uh, the, depending on the laws, maybe the, he must be certified by the state we are in, by the region, I don't know. It depends on the local laws. And we have the necessity uh, to, inter, to, to, be, to, in, to interface uh, with this engineer to respect all the local laws. So if the certified engineer uh, uh, will tell me that I am authorized with the certifications that we have to install my plants in a specific place, well, there are no problems. Okay. Uh, another question. Uh, is your much higher, is your SK being researched for a special category of usage, such as jet engines, military ships, heavy moving equipment, and the like. Can you repeat the first part of the question? Is the, is the, the SK, yes. the, the high COPSK, yes. is it being researched for special categories like these? And jet I think that for confidentiality, uh, in respect to our clients, I prefer not to answer to this question. Okay. But let me ask we, you this then. We are, we are under NDA yep. with all our clients, and I want not to give answer that could jeopardize the NDAs. Well, let me ask you a different way then, Andrea. Yes. If... <laughs> somebody listening or watching this video learns about this who is in let's say shipbuilding aerospace all I can say is that the SK can find application everywhere heat is produced and everywhere heat is an issue. Obviously specific situation must be evaluated. Okay. Um, here's another question this is a business question uh, to increase production producing maintaining and monitoring ECATs may be licensed to other parties I guess outside Leonardo will that be considered 
Yes, it is an issue that can be considered. Okay. Uh, so you would be, would you consider, I mean, if someone's interested to talk about this with you can they contact you and discuss it yes absolutely and i take the occasion to say that <clears throat> sorry if somebody needs to to speak with me uh, can email to info at Leonardo Corp 1996.com as you can see now in the video and uh, uh, I will answer normally I answer to everybody um, one way or the other uh, I always answer just give me the time but I always answer what kind of delivery time frames are expected for the first customers that order now or order in the near future? It depends uh, on uh, the power they need. Okay. <clears throat> How long do you expect a fuel charge to last? One year. Um, I say this not because after one year it, it is not lasting, but because I don't know. The only thing that I know is that for sure, 100% sure, we, we can know that the charge is perfect for one year. Why I am sure? Because I did it. <laughs> okay. Um, as far as changing the fuel, do you do that, or will there be some kind of dealer network to address this issue? We will have operators that will do it, and and uh, if the operators will be of our company or of uh, licensed companies, this will depend on the uh, licensing and on the locations. Okay, here's a question from uh, Orso Bubu. Bubo. Ah, yes, I know him. Orso yes, Bubo. Yes, yes. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's a very intelligent person. He yes. says, is Andrea willing to create a fast track for the feeding of any energy devouring, devouring device apt to decontaminate radioactive isotopes in the environment to capture atmospheric carbon if the greenhouse effect theory is confirmed? Well, uh, all um, I am, all we, my team, uh, uh, to, uh, to which I belong, all we are able to do is make heat. Now, what you can do with this heat, it depends on you. What I can say, and this, uh, and this, uh, maybe this is what also Bobo means, and uh, what, uh, what, surely the ICAT does not uh, generate uh, carbon dioxide because uh, we burn nothing and uh, we do not uh, emit any kind of uh, pollutant. Uh, and as you have seen in the video, we do not emit any ionizing radiations. Uh, so, uh, in this sense, the contribution of the ICAT to the environment is direct. For all the other issues, is high indirect. Okay. Next question. How is Leonardo planning sales and marketing and installation. Uh, well, uh, in the, you know, this is not uh, the the place where to, uh, you know, this this is our strategy for what concerns marketing and the sales uh, in this moment is confidential and uh, let not inform our competitors about uh, uh, how we want to attack the market. Okay. Uh, Julian asks again, is there an upfront installation cost? Well, the installation cost for what concerns our uh, installment uh, is on us. And uh, yes, there are uh, there is an upfront installation cost, of course, 
because uh, we have to put the plant in a factory and this has transportation costs, uh, manpower costs to make the installation and the connections on board to our installation. Then there is an installation cost from the part from the party of the customer that obviously must be analyzed in the specific situations. Okay. Going back to my list now. All right, and here, let's go back to Orso Bubo. His, part, his second question. Okay. Is Andrea available once he has secured the financial success of his business, his legal rights, and his academic recognition to reveal all the physical phenomena and possible theoretical and philosophical implications of which he has come to know in these years of research? Well, uh, this depends uh, on the licensee, uh, on the licensees, because I don't think they will be very happy uh, if uh, if uh, uh, I will uh, uh, um, gladly spread around uh, intellectual property they have invested in. So. Um, this uh, issue is very difficult uh, to be answered now and in this situation because uh, uh, it does not imply me, it, it implies all the world that will rotate around this uh, uh, technology. There will be probably billions invested and uh, um, so that the issue is very difficult uh, uh, to be answered and, and will not depend on me. Okay, next question. When will the customer that has utilized the ECAT SK since last November be revealed? When they uh, will uh, allow it, but uh, you must consider that so far whomever has been uh, pu publicly revealed as somebody that uh, has dealt with us for any reason, has been uh, uh, harassed from uh, uh, from uh, um, uh, many parts. So uh, basically, until. Uh, there is not common knowledge about the applications of our technology. Uh, it will be a little bit difficult to find somebody that will be eager to jump uh, in the in the scene, in the stage, to jump on the stage. Anyway, I also this is not an issue that depends on me. Okay, and then a related question: When will Rossi's current industrial partner be revealed? Same issue. Same issue, all right. So I have a question. If someone contacts... Sorry, sorry, sorry. With, with, with all our partners, clients, suppliers, we have NDAs. So, so if, there is a, if a customer contacted you today and uh, decided that they wanted to have, uh, let's say, a small installation of four to six ECATs in, in a factory, would it be reasonable to assume that they could get this up and running uh, within a quarter, within three months? No, much, much before. Okay, so if they contacted you today or this week and uh, got, the, got their ducks in the row and uh, set it up? Weeks. Very good. Weeks. All right. No, we, we have... And in an industrial organization ready to absorb the demand that we are foreseeing. Sounds the they get uh, has been designed, they get the cat that you have seen her saying, has been designed with all very uh, in very big uh, amount uh, of quantities already industrialized and uh, and uh, we have uh, agreements and uh, we are even if it uh, maybe cannot appear but we have covered very well our basis so that would mean that a customer customers will be revealed to the public when they reveal themselves, when they start putting signs in front of their factory saying we use the ECAT. You know, what, yes, what clients, what clients uh, will do, I cannot know. Very good. All right. A 
question from Allah. After selling heat to industry, do you plan to sell the ECAT, ECATs to the market? Uh, this is a good question. <clears throat> the reason why, good question. Thank you, Alan. You know, the problem is this. The reason why now we make a centralized control system is for intellectual property protection. The communication between our headquarters and the plant is a communication that is made in a way that is not uh, is not understandable from anybody. That uh, you know, it is not it is not difficult to enter in the communication, but uh, from uh, experts. But once you enter the communication, you understand nothing. You just you just have information that are useless, useless, useful for nothing. Uh, because in this delicate beginning, uh, when we have delicate issues we are with our partners, we must give to our intellectual property the maximum protection. Once this phase will be supered, we will begin to sell plans. So this is a situation in evolution and we must do this in a accordance with our clients with and mainly with our licenses when you say licenses do you mean licenses or people who use your products no way not both of them plus plus the licenses that get the license to manufacture and to and to sell so are you saying then that you are using an you are using outside industrial people to build the ecats also yes okay Next question, uh, to, can the ECAT SK be used to create steam? Of course, uh, the ECAT makes heat and uh, the, our primary is, uh, has a very high temperature. So we can reach also the highest temperature that you can reach with steam. What is that temperature? Uh, about 550 Celsius degrees and uh, to have a maximum efficiency with the Carnot cycle. So uh, with the heat uh, you can do uh, whatever you want, you want. Next question is, how long does the reactor last in months slash years before needing to be replaced with a new one? Uh, this is a question I, that is very difficult to answer for me because I never experienced so far the death of any cat. Okay. Uh, um, that, that would have hurt my uh, broken my heart, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so luckily I did not uh, survive any cat. But uh, you know I can make a projection based on the materials it is done with and the consumption that I have noticed. Uh, a very important experience in this sense has been made with all the experiments and tests that we made so far. So I project that the minimum life of any cat will be around 20 years, but, but could be 50. I think the minimum could be 20. I think the lifespan, you know, if the lifespan of a car is up to maybe 20 years, you have cars of the 80s that are still working well now in the roads. I think that uh, the lifespan of the cats will not be less than that. Brandon asks, will you ask one of your customers to publish their cost savings and publicly stand by the eCat product? No, can you repeat? I did okay. not understand. Can you rephrase yeah. it a little bit? Will you, will, will you ask one of your customers to publicly tell... I already answered to this question. 
He also says, well done on all your hard work and good wishes for the future. Oh, Vets, thank you very much to you. And thank you very much for your sustain. Uh, and, of the, and thank you very much to everybody. And they are thousands, many thousands, uh, from uh, whom uh, we continue to have sustain. Uh, Bengt Carlson asks, in which countries can Leonardo make deliveries soon? United States. Sweden, Japan. Okay. We're getting a lot of... So much talk about how does it work, asks Giuseppe. How does it work? Very well. <laughs> uh, ask Giuseppe which check is he sending to me. <laughs> How does it work uh, has been explained uh, as much as possible. Uh, sorry, Giuseppe. For, uh, sorry, Giuseppe, which is the correct pronunciation, okay. Giuseppe. Sorry, Giuseppe, for my uh, joking answer. I was just uh, joking with you, not uh, against you. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you understand that uh, we have limitations due to confidentiality. But honestly, I think that uh, in this video, we have already released a lot of information, honestly. How big is Ross's team? Enough. Who are the key people? Well, that has to be decided. Can we confirm that Tom Brady is not on your team? <laughs> Who is Tom Brady? <laughs> Quarterback of the, of the Patriots. <laughs> well, this is, I think this will make news. Yes, he is. <laughs> what will Rossi need? Sorry. Mm. What will Rossi need to qualify vet potential customers? Or can anyone buy the energy without discrimination? Sorry, can, can I think can what he means is I do not understand. What he means is what or who do you need to be to qualify to be an ECAT customer? How do you determine who can well, the determination about uh, who can be our customer now in this moment uh, are the, are technical, are just technical and financial. And uh, um, the and I can thank you for the question because is uh, is important. Uh, um, the the the, um, the to qualify. Uh, the client uh, must first have a heat consumption that is proportional to the heat he says he wants to buy. Second, have a fina financial basis uh, to pay for this heat and because we risk our capital, because we put our plants in his factory and, uh, and we need that he is not uh, in a financial danger because we want not that our plant is involved in some bankruptcy and of, of clients and, and therefore uh, run the risk to be uh, to be uh, put uh, on hold <clears throat> then the client must have an industrial organization well known it must be a, a, an organization that has a history of the of the uh, activity that uh, that uh, they are asking to buy our heat for and uh, then they must have the personnel that is necessary for to comply with our safety certifications then they must have either as an employee or as a consultant a certified engineer certified to make the engineer in our field and to give consulting in our field in the location where the plant has to be installed these are the main uh, uh, 
limits that we put, then some other uh, can be seen in the specific situation. Obviously, since we are not uh, idiots, uh, we do not make any kind of discrimination about uh, uh, race, religion, or this, uh, th of these uh, issues, uh, because uh, we are serious. So, if a government organization or let's say a university wanted to install ECATS to uh, run their steam plant, would that be a viable customer? I am not able to answer to this question, but surely if they are a university, they have plenty of certified engineers that teach uh, the matter to their students and they will, they will tell me. Uh, question about the video. The plasma, the video of the plasma light is interesting. Why is it pulsing and moving around if the camera is fixed? That is an interesting question. Uh, that is a very interesting question. I am, because it's a ballerina. <laughs> Ballerinas dance. <laughs> Do you want to hear the song? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> there we go. The song is on. Yeah. During the song, I must ask one minute uh, because I have to adjust a little bit my voice. Okay. I need to drink some water. Very good. But maybe uh, you uh, you can uh, prepare questions. I just need one minute. Welcome. Once again, the most important thing we will tell you today is this. The ECAT SK is available now for industrial applications. If your business requires safe, reliable, competitively priced heat, we encourage you to contact us. Okay, next question is... I, this is Gianluca again, a different, maybe it's a different Gianluca. Why is it difficult to have a conglomeration for the home ECAT if there are no ionizing emissions? Well, well, um, you are right, you are right, but I am not the guy that uh, puts the problems and that takes time. Um, you are right, and so I hope that uh, this problem will be resolved as soon as possible. We have one problem, though, that I must confess you. We have only two, three persons that continue, two persons, and uh, I prefer not to make the name, but that continue to harass uh, everywhere and everybody, uh, decanting the 
uh, high periculosity, even if it is not true. And so, you know, people uh, is afraid of liabilities. And uh, and uh, there is nothing I can do about that. The only thing that I, that we can do is to install industrial plants. I think that uh, history has correctly said uh, uh, in a, a person in one of the former questions, Surely, the diffusion of industrial plants will ease the uh, worry of liabilities for these very new things. Uh, you know, people in a certification agencies does not know what is LENR, etc., etc. Of course, the fact that all our ICATs have the the devices that detect ionizing radiations, etc., and continue year after year to detect nothing, this uh, will help. But your question is right. Uh, your question is right. I totally agree with you. Okay. Question is, short question. The number of SK installations estimate by the end of 2019? I prefer not uh, to give this number. Uh, as I said before, uh, uh, I can answer as much as possible. Uh, Roy asks, pressure was the problem with the... ECAT warm, the first one, it could produce up to 105 degrees Celsius, but no real pressure. For useful steam generation, the pressure needs to be above two atmospheres. Is this possible? Of course, uh, we make, uh, again, we make a heat and we have a primary circuit that runs at a certain heat. Our circuit uh, needs the pressure that it needs, but this is our parameter. The secondary circuit that is the one that exchange that exchanges heat with our primary, that will need to be put in pressure, but that will not be our task, that will not be our turf. We give the heat in a primary circuit. The client takes this heat, exchanges it to heat up water or whatever he wants, air or whatever he wants to make something. And he will bring his pressure wherever he will want, regulating the flow. Next question. What is the lowest in input voltage that the ECAT can operate, the SK can operate at? I cannot give this information. <clears throat> Since I can say this, that we can take from the plug of the outlet of the grid 110 or 220 or 380 three phase or 440, 450 three phase, we can take whatever a plug gives. Then we make what we have to make to give to the ECAT what it needs. Okay. Uh, dear Andrea, dear Leonardo Corporation, since the ECAT SK is controlled online, what happens if the connection breaks for a long time, let's say days? This is an important question. Obviously, it will happen uh, sooner or later that uh, a plant of uh, made by cats uh, will uh, uh, go out of service. This can happen for circumstances that uh, do not depend on us. That could be an internet drop, uh, drop down uh, from the server. Uh, it could be uh, from the provider. It could be a black a blackout from the uh, power company. Uh, it uh, it could be malfunction because they get is a machine uh, and uh, it can have some 
make some more, mostly, most probable electronic problem and couldn't uh, give one. So one of the, uh, the prescription that I forgot to say before that uh, uh, makes necessary uh, that our client, clients have to, to run any cat or to, to, to make a contract with us is that uh, they must have a back a backup that automatically automatically will enter in action as soon as for any reason the cat goes down what happens when the cat goes down our control system immediately is informed we immediately inform the client but automatically even if we do nothing a backup will be put in action so uh, so basically if client if we go to clients that already have what they need to make the hit that they need they will just conserve what they have and it will be the backup <laughs> and when the ICAT will go out of service automatically in seconds their backup will go in operation and if a customer is making a new uh, a new section of his industry and has not there already an existing heat production system he must make in parallel with our plant a backup system otherwise we cannot supply the plant or otherwise the customer has to sign in the contract with us that we will not be liable for any period that our uh, system will be out of service even for regions that depend on us okay next question from layman if a customer needs high power installations i.e many ecats are necessary will there be one blue box per ecat or many ecats in a bigger can container it is absolutely indifferent because for us it doesn't matter if we put uh, uh, one ecat in one box of if we put uh, many cats in me in one box, it doesn't make any difference. Probably it depends on the specific situations, on the opportunity, because maybe a client prefers one cat per box and uh, disseminate boxes in different places where he has dead spaces. Or maybe the client prefers one only big box somewhere. It, it depends on the client, on what the client wants. Now, uh, a controller can control more than one blue box you get. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. So if well, somebody had an installation of, let's say, a dozen ECATs, they would all be worked uh, controlled by one single controller? Uh, one controller today is able to control 10, up to 10 ECATs, mm. which means to hand to to 210 220 uh, kilowatt hour per hour of production okay question from philippe in france when will a commercialization of the ecat be av available in europe he's in france Martin, we already are able to serve uh, sweden uh, if we have some important request, uh, this can be done. Mm, the contact can be can be uh, developed uh, immediately. And the next question. It depends, you know. Europe is big. Uh, uh, if it is Germany, France, Spain, uh, you know, it, it it will be fast. Will Mr. Rossi take a communication agency to promote his products worldwide? Will you? So sorry, can you repeat the question? He says, will you take, I mean, I think he says, will you use a communication agency to promote your products worldwide? I think he's talking Yes. About okay. Okay. In the plasma video, is the cathode at the top? Is the plasma floating above the anode, which cannot be seen? 
I cannot answer this question. Can a university get an ECAT installed in their lab and pay for the heat? This is from David. Uh, we would have some uh, intellectual property issue. David asks, Andrea, it appears that you have a great product that is ready to sell. It seems like your business model should work if it is properly, properly marketed. Have you or will you hire a marketing team that has experience and contacts in the industrial heat industry to help you connect with customers? We already have a person in Sweden. Uh, David asks, uh, maybe a different David, will the upfront costs paid by the customer be rebated out of the heating costs they subsequently pay you? I do not understand the question. I, I think he wants to know if uh, if we're they're installing ECATs and there is some upfront cost that they have to pay. They're asking whether you will reimburse them for that upfront cost. Well, this depends uh, uh, on uh, the specifics of a single contract. It depends on many issues because uh, we can put that cost. Uh, it depends also which are these upfront costs uh, because if the situation is such that the upfront costs are substantial, the client has to confront them. If uh, you know the, the situation must be uh, agreed upon in uh, for any specific situation. So it sounds like it's negotiable. Yes, it is negotiable. Okay, this is <laughs> this is a question. Actually, I'm going to put it to Tom. It says, Frank, can you give the name of the bit of music played during the close-up of the dancing ballerina? <laughs> Important for the sort of use I am up to. Tom, could you answer uh, that question? Uh, I am going to say that that was a um, instrumental piece uh, created for a charity bike ride uh, that takes place in New Jersey every year, and it was composed by uh, myself and uh, my uh, very, very talented uh, uh, musical collaborator, Mr. Joe Bizek. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully that will help you, Tim. Ballerina refused uh, to dance. I proposed, uh, you know, uh, big, uh, big. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm know, very specific. But the ballerina yeah. refused. refused. Yeah. When she heard the music of my <laughs> friend moved, yes. Thomas, immediately she got dancing. Okay, another question about the video. In the live video, the feed of the controller showing the value 20. What is the person doing regularly where someone is pressing some switch? I can answer that question. At which point the readout varies momentarily to say 17, 18. So that number that you see in the controller, which is in the upper top uh, area, in the, in the middle uh, area, uh, with the 20, uh, that is an amperometer and a voltmeter. And uh, when it is sitting there uh, normally, as you see now, it is displaying the number of amps of the current uh, that is going in. I'm going to read, read my little script here. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, when the operator goes and changes it, he is switching the meter to, to register volts. Uh, and at that point, you can read that it is 19 volts um, that uh, it is going. So basically, the operator is switching from the meter from measuring amps to volts. Yes, I can add that uh, the operator was me, and uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, I just uh, uh, pushing a button. Uh, by default, I read the amps. Pushing the button, I get the volts. I push it just to the benefit of the camera, that uh, so that uh, we could uh, we could show it. But normally, nobody goes there. That instrument is not even out the box. It's inside. Uh, so, um, 
so basically nobody goes to push anything because it is an operation that is completely useless because uh, is the, co the control system that uh, elongates that regulates volts and amps uh, I just uh, so the the poor guy that uh, uh, now and again was there pushing was just making this operation only there he goes. for there he goes again. stage purpose <laughs> Okay, another question from BroKeeper. If more ECATs are required to be added to one control system, will the COP increase proportionately? No. Okay. Um, Christopher asks... What industry do you think will immediately benefit the most from this marvelous new technology? I think that uh, I can say that uh, uh, that you know, where I think that there is a most high necessity uh, to, to lower the cost of uh, heat uh, is uh, agriculture and uh, paper mills. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, it's difficult to answer. Um, I am not a merciologist, but uh, for my experience, for what I can see, the most of requests we have now come from uh, agriculture or food, food industry, food, food industry, agriculture that is very bound to food industry, by the way, is, is almost the same thing. We have a strong request from paper mills. Uh, and uh, and I expect electricity production because they get with this temperature is very convenient to make a Carnot cycle. He, he follows up, how can I get in touch with your marketing team? He can send an email to info at leonardocorp1996.com, explain exactly what he needs, and he will be addressed to the right person. Uh, question, when the electricity producing device will be ready? When will the electricity producing device be ready? Ask to the electricity providers. Um, uh, if Rossi has a person in Sweden who can sell a solution, how does he expect high volume of sales? Uh, I, didn't, I did not understand this. I guess uh, if, you, if you have a person in Sweden who can sell or is helping sell the ECAT, do you expect high volume of sales? If one person could sell one installation per day, that would indicate only 220 sales in Europe for the first year. Thank you for the insight. Okay. Okay, to follow up my question about use in a university lab, the university would not would agree not to open the device, same as any other commercial customer. Nothing confidential would be disclosed. So wouldn't it be good publicity for a university to report the input and output so long as they pay for the heat? What would you have to lose? Is that a Boy Scout promise? <laughs> well, they would have to sign, sign something. Okay. So I guess the serious question is: Would you consider such a such a, 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 a proposal if a if a university said that we would pay for the heat um, and uh, and would they would agree to the assign things to agree to not um, uh, do anything that you wouldn't want to do with the machine? Would that be something you would consider? You know, 
uh, this is a very complex issue and uh, it is not uh, easy answer yes or no the question uh, appears to be simple as a matter of fact uh, behind that question there is a universe so a universe of problematics difficulties uh, incompatibility between uh, prior art knowledge and uh, eventual art knowledge distinctions between the first and the second uh, you know the only person that surely will earn a lot of money in these discussions are the attorneys and sincerely in this moment I have not uh, time to lose uh, with this maybe in future now I have no time for this all right this is more of a personal question. I don't know if you want to deal with it. Robert asks, Dear Andrea, would you share, would you care to share your faith and its influence on your life and work? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, you know, anybody that uh, has uh, uh, written on www ingandrearossi.com uh, what uh, happened to me in the years knows that uh, what I passed through would probably not be survived should I not have a very deep and strong base in my faith thank you um, dear Andrea do you have, this is from Uwe, uh, do you have existing contracts with major suppliers such as National Instruments or Siemens who can ensure the supply chain for the productions of your production in case of large orders? We have, uh, we have contracts with important concerts. We are under NDA and I am not going to give their names because I am under NDA. But you have suppliers who will provide you with the materials you need for whatever volume is demanded of you? Yes. Okay. Um, you say you already have a business strategy and partners for Europe, Germany, partners in Sweden. Could you provide contact information? As I said before, uh, as I said before, write to uh, info at leonardocorp1996.com, explain exactly who you are, uh, which is your consume of heat, which is your activity, etc., etc., and I will address you to the right person. Uh, Tiziano says, our company is a large publicly listed company dealing with heat and power. We are interested to license ECAT technology mostly for our clients active in agribusiness. How much could it cost per MWT of installed power, megawatts thermal of installed power? Of course, this is not a question to put in this, uh, uh, in this context. Again, uh, you can read uh, my email address and uh, send and explain due information and uh, we will follow up with uh, your request. Um, previously, Rossi would not deal with any military use. Now, if Leonardo controls the unit, it would sell energy. Would it sell the energy to a military base for heating or hot water uses, etc.? No comment. Someone asks, could you zoom out the plasma camera just a little bit? Uh, let me see what I can do here. This is the shot that we got for the plasma camera, and so that's as far as we got. Okay, just keep it up there for a little bit, maybe. Um, question for Rossi. Can you give a hypothetical example of savings to demonstrate for potential customers? He's in the COP. So... You know, 
the COP gives us a big margin. Now, how much of this margin we can share with the customer depends on the specifics of the contract. Uh, so this has to. This is something we will deal about <coughs> with customers. So that's actually something that's negotiable between you and the customer. Exactly. Okay. So I guess I'm saying I it is not negotiable. Not base it upon caprice okay. or you know this is uh, simple uh, this is uh, more simpatico and uh, this is uh, less simpatico it is it will be based on uh, rigorous parameters that are amount of heat that of course uh, if somebody buys thousands of megawatts uh, has a price different from somebody that buys uh, one uh, megawatt of power so um, obviously and, and and then there are um, other parameters uh, that uh, that have influence so when i say that is negotiable it is negotiable on the base of rigorous parameters not based on uh, what did i eat the day before <laughs> Okay, a couple of questions have come in about your health. Uh, it says, particularly about your voice, uh, do you anticipate to regain your full vocal ability? I hope so. Uh, I hope so. Uh, um, I, I hope so. The, the doctors say that uh, I should recover it, uh, at least in good part, and uh, I... I hope so. I am making uh, uh, log logopedy for this, and uh, what was that word? Log logopedy. What does that mean? Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what would happen? Oh, sorry. In the event of Andrea Rossi being incapacitated, who would carry on the business until you returned? Good people. Okay, sorry, I have to reload here. Sorry, there's an, I just hit the wrong button here. No problem. The questions keep coming. Well, let me go back to my... Okay. Does, dear Andrea, does the available certification for industrial application allow to apply the device in sports facilities such as gyms or pools i don't know but uh, i i return to what i said before uh, this question has to be put to a certified engineer uh, certified in the location where uh, the plant should be installed and ask him and uh, we are ready to give him the to the certified engineer uh, of the engineers baras engineers association we are ready to give the information necessary to give answers but that all we can do uh, okay question regarding the video going back to the video how has the electrical input power to the reactor 800 whatever that is been measured you by a voltmeter ampere amperometer okay um, how have you determined that the temperature is the surface of the plasma column and not some reflection from the reactor body or transmission from inside the volume of the plasma? Because, uh, for, uh, because uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, with the spectrometry, uh, we have uh, set the spectrometry in a way that it goes right to the core of the plasma, where it uh, has the maximum intensity. And uh, the intensity of the plasma gives the, the answer to, to this question. How have you determined the entire plasma column surface is the same temperature? as per your calculation with filters 
Uh, what procedure did you use to scan for any temperature variance along the length and across the breadth of the plasma column? The, the spectrometer makes that. What is the spatial resolution of your spectrometer? It is, uh, yes, it is a zero point something nanometers. Okay. Can you give the make and model? Oh, sorry. The make and model of the spectrometer you used. Yes, I can supply it. Uh, if they send uh, by mail uh, the, the usual, okay. I, can, I can give the spectrometer. And when was it last calibrated and how? Uh, we, we, uh, um, we calibrate it continuously with a specialist, in, with an engineer, which is who is a specialist in spectrometry. Have which, which makes sp only spectrometry as a profession. Have you used a calorimeter to measure the heat output? No, we did not. Okay, I think some of these questions have been answered. Was the power rating of the uh, the power rating of this? The power rating of this, as you have seen uh, in the calculations, is exactly. 21.9 okay kilowatts um, <clears throat> will this be the standard rating for the mass production of the sk yes and the question i said during my during the presentation i said 20 to make it easier yeah. to calculate but exactly it is 21.9 and what is the cop uh, the COP uh, is the one that has been described in the, in the in the so the COP if we consider uh, all of the energy that uh, uh, exits from the um, from the plug is a 50 57 58 something I don't remember exactly 57 the COP of the solicate is uh, the COP of a self-sustaining mode could you define self-sustaining mode is uh, uh, when the consume is irrelevant to respect to the energy that is generated okay and I think that the region of that success, because that is a success, stays in that uh, uh, in that uh, uh, signature that you have seen when I asked to enlarge a particular of the spectrometry. Okay, Gary asks: Utilities have complex formulas for billing customers. Can you react to rate changes? that hide the cost per BTU. For example, utilities switching to an annual service model that does not include the incremental cost of BTUs. Actually, uh, we make uh, contracts uh, uh, renewable every year and uh, uh, for that year the, the, the cost uh, is fixed. If uh, substantial uh, variation uh, could, <coughs> could happen during the year to the advantage of the customer that could be put in discussion but uh, this will depend on uh, uh, specific situations okay last year layman asks last year there was talk about establishing a factory in sweden what is the situation now? I cannot answer this question. Okay. All, right. All right. Can an SK heated gas turbine be engineered to survive heater temperatures of greater than about 1000 Celsius? Yes. The radiation from the SK has to be transferred to the coolant which is compressed air, possibly steam. Rossi stated, the gas turbine configuration resolves the thermal problem. Uh, this was a quote from Yes, you. I agree. This is why 
<clears throat> this is why we are working in uh, on uh, on gas turbines. So this is, as, as I said, this is my pet project. Uh, but we are making a very good job. I repeat, in Japan now, uh, I mean, uh, on course of developing and uh, to 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 substitute the get to the gas. Is it working now well enough to continuously make electricity? No, uh, no, no. Yeah. no. We are in a we are in a very early stage. Okay. Let me see. Go back to my list here. Okay. I must say that the 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 um, um, director of the Japanese company we are uh, we are in contact with is very genial so I think I have found the very good partner because he is a genius in the turbine field and uh, and we are pretty good uh, for what concerns they get and uh, so it's very promising the situation have you visited Japan Japan is a very is a wonderful country. <laughs> okay, your recent paper describes how external magnetic fields may be important in the production of electron clusters. Uh, uh, could you repeat that? Uh, we, we lost your. Uh... Lost me? Yes, yeah, sounds. Uh, just uh, say that one more time. Okay, your recent paper published in ResearchGate describes how external magnetic fields may be important in the production of electron clusters. Do you expose the expose the plasma to an external magnetic field? I cannot answer this question. Did I turn my mic off? No, it just got okay. What is the pressure in the reactor? I cannot answer this question. Can you describe the cooling system of the power supply? No. <laughs> um can you describe the importance of resonance when it comes to the oscillations generated? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Can you describe the importance of resonance oh, yes. when it comes to the oscillations generated by the double layer? Right. Resonances in this technology are everything. By what means is energy transferred from the plasma through the material of the discharge tube to the heat exchanger? I cannot answer this question. What is the role of noble gases in the fuel mixture? Cooling. Okay. I'm trying to get through. And it is not in the fuel mixtures. Okay. All right. I will say that the most important thing we will tell you today <laughs> is this. The ECAT SK is available now for industrial applications. If your business requires safe, reliable, and competitively priced heat, we encourage you to contact us at this okay. how, address. How many All right, fine. We may run out of questions. All right. Are there any malintentioned forces that you and Leonardo Corporation face from governments or otherwise who may stand to lose from the deployment of your technology? Not that I am aware of. Okay. Is the technology safeguarded against negative intentions of individuals or groups? so that the ECAT is not lost. I, I don't understand the meaning of this question. I think he's, I understood the words, I, okay. but I don't understand what he means. I think he means is, um, if there are, if, uh, have you safeguarded the technology so that the ECAT will never be lost to, to humanity? Again, I don't understand. I, I think they want to make sure that it's not all that the ECAT's plans are not all in your head, that that, that you've written it down. No, somewhere. no, no, no. I understand. I understand. So uh, when I will be dead, uh, if I if I die, uh, one moment or the other, um, 
<clears throat> it, it reminds me the title of uh, the song of Loretta, Loretta Lynch, uh, uh, that Loretta Lynn, uh, that uh, says uh, everybody want to go to heaven but nobody want to die. <laughs> but well, I think that uh, uh, yes, uh, of course, uh, um, all my intellectual property is objectively possessed beyond my person, so it will never get lost. And uh, and uh, and as far as I know, there is nobody around that wants to make it lost. Have you? Do you have any kind of training of other persons who can continue your work? Yes. Okay. Uh, about the ballerina. When you switch on, does the ballerina dance immediately? No. The ballerina has uh, to warm up the legs. <laughs> As every good ballerina. <laughs> you could pull a hamstring. You don't want to do that. <laughs> she makes some stretching. For anybody listening, uh, we do have a cutoff time of noon. So if you want to send questions, just keep them coming. But we will be... Uh, noon New York time. Right, noon, noon Eastern time, which was approximately... I say New York time because not anybody knows what does mean Easter time okay. yeah, outside the United States. So, so that's... that's uh, it's better say New York time. 38 okay. minutes, 48 minutes from now. All right. Uh, Tim, Tim says, thank you for your demo, Dr. Rossi. What... Oh, he says thank you. If you, want to, you want to respond to that? Thank you and thank to everybody that had the patience to listen or this. I think you've actually dealt with this question. What, if anything, is the issue or problem with using the ECAT to replace coal as a heat source? for power plants not at all uh, because as I, this is a question I have already answered yeah. before the problem is not technological the problem is administrative because to make that change all the permissions the permits the authorization of <coughs> sorry the authorization of a power plant uh, the decay and to have new permits it takes 10 to 20 years this is what the CEO of a big company of a big electricity provider told me in California and so uh, this is the problem this is the problem so it is not a problem for a new plant that has to be made in that case we can be integrated easy because uh, the, this will not be late the permissions the permits absolutely uh, also because you know 10 years more or less are not an issue in this situation but uh, it is a big problem uh, for existing plants or this can be not a problem for the coal plants that have to close because their permissions expire in the, in the case, yes. Okay, Lehman asks, will the professors in Uppsala University endorse your new product officially? Okay. Uh, no professor is going to endorse anything. Professors of university are professors, uh, not salesmen. I don't. Would we want to talk about this? Take oh. this moment to add, to mention um, what does the SK stand for in the ECAT SK? SK are the initials of the name of Sven Kulander. Sven Kulander uh, was, because uh, unfortunately, uh, is dead uh, on his dead. Uh, oh, at the end, uh, yes, you can see the plate that we uh, 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 put on all our uh, Iket SK, and uh, uh, with with big gratitude for P P Professor.
yes, so thank you, Lander, because I learned from him uh, basic things that uh, have uh, given uh, uh, the. Um, uh, that have spurred the development of the cat. I knew him in uh, the 2000. Uh, in uh, 2011, he came in Bologna to test with me the cat, the f one of the first prototypes of the cat in 2012. I have been in Uppsala uh, with him and Professor uh, Peterson and uh, Professor Bohoistat uh, and Professor Tegner many times in Uppsala uh, and we have worked uh, very much and uh, together and I have infinite gratitude towards Sven Colander and uh, unfortunately uh, he has he, he has died without any it was not expected uh, it has been all, all in the sudden and uh, I wanted to to him this uh, product a uh, question about early licensees uh, several were brought licenses were brought ba bought back by Leonardo Corporation, but s many still exist and were not bought back. How will you work with these licensees? This is a matter of Leonardo Corporation that has nothing to do with this context. Uh, next question from Raymond: Is the power output adjustable or is it constant? No, it is, well, it is adjustable. It is adjustable with the square waves, which means it is adjustable with uh, uh, working with a timer that turns on and off, uh, they get. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of questions just of my own. And I, I think I, I started asking you this the other day and you said, let's talk about it. Uh, as far as history goes, when did you first start working with uh, this technology? I started in uh, in Manchester, New Hampshire, and uh, I started in 1996. And this is why you can see in uh, my email address uh, info at leonardocorp1996.com because nine nine. Nine, one nine nine six has been the date I started uh, the work with this, with a microscopic thing, uh, inspired by the work of uh, Pons and Fleischmann. And now, was that the first ECAT? No, no. The ECAT, uh, that this energy catalyzer, has been uh, born in two thousand. Uh, 2005, 2006 initially. In 1996, I, I started my work with uh, LENR as a side work, as a side work, because in that period I was specialized. I had also an American patent, a patent granted from the United States Patent Office uh, to, to turn waste, organic wastes, uh, into fuel and from in that period up to 2007 I continued 2008 also I continued to work in to make plants that made electricity and fuel starting from um, the so-called second uh, materie prime seconde, second raw materials, and and I was pretty good at that. And but in the 2008, my research in the LNR had developed very much. You know, 2007, I don't remember exactly. And I uh, so was why uh, I. Now the story is this, 
I had just booked the last appendix of the Encyclopedia Treccani. I, I, I am a, an avid reader of the Encyclopedia Treccani, which is the, the Britannica of Italy. Uh, in uh, in uh, Great Britain, they have the Encyclopedia Britannica. In Italy, we have the Treccani, which is better than the Britannica, by the way. And, <laughs> and uh, more beautiful, uh, more, more complete, etc. Uh, and I had just bought the last appendix of the Trecani and the first thing I made I have gone to see uh, Cold Fusion no, because I was just curious to see if the oh, you, mean you looked at that? you looked up you open it up and look yes I open the encyclopedia the volume of the appendix I go I have gone to Cold Fusion and there was an article about a beautiful article well done made by Professor Bertin Bertin in Italian Bertin in American B-E-R-T-I-N no B as in Bob E as in Eve R as in Rome T as in Ted I as in India N as in Nancy Bertin Bertin okay. is in Italian. And it was signed uh, Professor Bertin, University of Bologna. So I make a phone call to the University of Bologna and uh, ask it of Professor Bertin. And they passed me to Professor Bertin. And he told me, uh, yes, but uh, I asked him if he wanted to be my consultant. And he said, no, because I am no more uh, dealing with this matter. But here in the University of Bologna, we have Professor Focardi, Sergio Focardi, that he is our point of reference for this matter so I can put you in contact with Professor Cotardi Focardi. And this is the way through which mm. I knew Professor Focardi. Mm. And I called him and I told him, Professor, I am a, a, a guy. Yes, this is the photo of Professor Foc Sergio Focardi, my friend. Unfortunately, he too passed away in 2013. And uh, uh, Sergio Focardi, I told to him, Professor, I am a guy that has a good work, well paid. Uh, I have a, a good industry that makes uh, plants to make fuel or electricity and or electricity with uh, uh, my technology but as a side of it I am uh, working with LENR and I have developed a thing a thing that is no more possible to treat as a side work I have to decide if to sell out all my activity in the uh, uh, in the fuel from waste uh, field and dedicate myself 100% to the LNR or abandon the LNR. They are eating too they are eating too much time to me. And so please I need your consulting because you have to tell me if what I am thinking about has a future or if it is bullshit. Because if it is not good I abandon it and I lose no more time. Other and go ahead with my work that pays me and my family very well. Otherwise I sell my actual activity and put me 100% in the LNR. And he laughed a little bit and said, okay, let us meet. So I met him, not in the university, because in that time he was in vacation. It was August. And he was in vacation in the uh, beach of Adria the Adriatic near, near Ferrara, where he had his house. And I met him in his house. And he looked at my documents, my papers, and said, "Okay, Rossi, let me study what you what you got. I will call you when I will be ready, and I will tell you my impressions." After a week, he called me and said, "Rossi, I have bad news for you." And I answered, "Yeah, I know it was bullshit. Just tell me what what you think." And he said, no, the bad news is that it is not bullshit, it is good. So if you want, I am also disposed to work with you with this. 
and this so I sold out all the activity I had to get the money to go ahead with the land and I began my story with Focari etc 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 thank you you're welcome very interesting um, let's see another question here you have pro previously stated in Mercatu Veritas in the market is the truth now that you are in the market how long do you expect it will take before the truth of your invention is acknowledged by the media and scientific establishment I don't know today no today 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 is will be not the news for my clients for uh, for uh, the people that has access uh, to my plans uh, but not for other people uh, from today we are ready to deliver our heat well, what time it will take be before this certainty become common knowledge i don't know well it, it maybe it, i don't know i don't know it, it doesn't really matter there are plenty of people walking around today who don't believe in electricity and they but they go to their little light switch and they hit the little light button and they they use electricity but they don't believe in it they don't believe that that works that way so this is correct yeah are you concerned that your intellectual property might be compromised once an ECAT SK is installed at a customer's factory? Or are you confident in your protections against reverse engineering? I am very confident. Uh, given your long... So far, I am very confident so far. <clears throat> And this is one of the re another parameter based on which we will choose our clients, uh, because we will choose the clients that, from our point point of view, are reliable under this point of view also. But I am confident of our remote control system, and I am confident of the self defense system that we have inside the cat. Uh, but, of course, I will not be confident when we'll sell the plants, because at that point, reverse engineering will be very difficult to be, to be obstacled. This is why it will take some time before we will sell our plants. So you do envision a day that the plants will be sold as opposed to selling the heat? No, I am not envisaging this time now. Okay. Um, the last question from... Um, By the way, is my voice still good? Still can good. You, can you hear me? Like Tony Bennett. <laughs> uh, in this case, I go on. <laughs> Given your long and hard journey to get to this point, including a difficult court battle, do you feel satisfied with your achievement now that you have a commercial product? I am not going to talk of something that for me is archaeology. Okay. Um, to clarify the question about safeguarding technology, uh, that's a long one. Oh. Given the importance of your technology to the advancement of our species, have you considered a dead man's switch to broadcast the designs of your technology to the world for free via the internet in the event of a worst case scenario should something happen to your company? You know, my company is a company. Personal, persons die, companies don't. Uh, the patrimony of a company one way or the other is transmit if necessary is transmitted to other companies and uh, for example we have on course uh, dealing about licenses we are selling uh, our even manufacturing license in some geographic parts of the world uh, and uh, you know uh, I sincerely, I don't think that this hypothesis has any possibility to become real. Um, someone did ask previously, uh, as far as the United States goes, in which states can you do business? In which states within the United States? Wherever. Okay. 
also in Alaska. In Alaska, I think they need heat. I'm not sure, but I think. Um, in late December 2018, a bill titled Nuclear Energy Innovation and Modernization Act was passed by both U.S. highs, U.S. C houses of the U.S. Congress and sent to the president for his signature. One major purpose of the bill is to encourage innovation in the nuclear energy technology. Are you aware of this bill and whether it could make it easier for Lenner to be developed in the United States? You know, this is a generalistic question. I am a particular man. Uh, I, I respond for my work. Um, I have learned in my experience, in the experience of my life, that it is better not to count on bills or uh, public funds or public funding or something like that. They can come, they will be, you know, some added value, but we cannot count on them. Anything that is politically conditionable is not reliable. Will you keep us posted as to the number of installations you have made on a yearly basis, not who the customers are, but how many have been installed? Can you kind of repeat the question? Sorry. Will you keep, will you inform us of the number of installations you have made on a yearly basis, even if you do not tell us who the customers yes. are? Yes, yes. And so far it is how many? Uh, a lot, one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, have you, SK? That people will believe. When I will say other numbers, they will say, nah. Um, question is, so you say there's one. You've had it operating for how long? I would say one year. Okay. Is it being remotely controlled yet? No. Um, we are going to control it remotely. A, we, we are going to. Okay. How long, okay, as far as, uh, how long will it take for Leonardo to install the base unit to the time of the completed contract? It depends on the, on the, on the type of contract and it depends on the kind of plant. Uh, when I asked him earlier, when I asked you earlier about um, if someone contacted you today, whether it was feasible to, con to think that it could be installed within a quarter, you said, oh, before then. Um, so yes. I think that addresses that issue. Yes, it depends on the, on the power. It depends on the situation. It, it, it depends on many factors. Is there any remote, this is from Raymond, is there any remote possibility that a private person can have an ECAT installed in his average home for, let's say, in one year or so? I am not able to answer this question because this depends on the certifications. We surely are not going to deliver anything against the law. Is it possible in the future that an antagonistic larger company or group could buy all your patents and then shelve your technology as have happened with other advanced en energy technologies especially if you were somehow no longer in control of the company yourself you know is it possible that uh, uh, some uh, extraterrestrials come down and uh, I don't know um, you know I, I can make uh, I can see, or I can, un I can try to understand what will happen in future based on precise information I can have. So I, I cannot just uh, make uh, uh, to foresee which number will come out from the bingo. Uh, this is more. The president has promised to cut through leg red tape <coughs> to help new technology. And certainly one of the biggest global agendas we hear about is reducing greenhouse gases. What is the disconnect here with validation of input and output from even one client? Wouldn't all doors be quickly opened for you? 
and billions of people could benefit within a year or two. Sorry, I did not understand this question. I think what Just they're saying is... Please rephrase me yeah, with a few, yeah. few simple words. Okay. If one, even one client verified hmm. input-output... Yeah. Wouldn't that open the door quickly for you? And yeah, the whole this, world is, could this is not true. This is not true. And uh, uh, the situation is much more complex. I already have answered to this question. Okay. Uh, I got one question, another question of my own. Um, L-E-N-R. Yes. Is this an accurate description of your technology? L-E-N-R, yes. low energy nuclear reactor. I think that uh, among all the definitions that have been proposed so far, I think that uh, L-E-N-R is the proper uh, definition. Now, the word nuclear is in there. Yes, the word nuclear is in there, but it is necessary because otherwise everybody tells you that you go against the first principle of thermodynamics. So, how... Safe. Because, you know, the problem is that chemical energy, it is not. If it is not chemical, it is nuclear. But, uh, but nuclear is a universe. So when you say nucleus, you talk of a universe. So uh, 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 nuclear does not mean that it is plutonium or something like that. Nuclear can also be a... a as I have written in my paper, I cited before that has been, uh, well, I strongly suggest to go to read that paper of mine, where I have put a lot of information to the limit of the confidentiality, where uh, I have put uh, theoretic, theoretical knowledge, where there are described, because I have understood the hypertext of your question, the, the, what are described things that can happen and that are not chemical between electrons and protons that uh, do not produce uh, high, high, uh, strong uh, force, uh, uh, strong force uh, radiations. Okay. How safe? And it's very important. It's very important that enlargement that I, I asked for, and uh, go to the paragraph three and four of my paper, where you understand well why that is very important, because that is the kick that starts the effect. Okay. You wrote recently, recent, reasonably recently, that. Uh, in, I think it was, I don't know what year it was, I can't remember, but you, you put yourself in danger. No, I am not going to talk about this. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we've got another question here. You know, I make, when I work, I make things that put me in danger, but this has nothing to do with how, this presentation. How safe is the ECAT? As I said, we have never emitted from the get any kind of ionizing radiations. As it has been well shown in the video, the gets are supplied with colum neutron columns and with uh, and with the microsievert counter that have never indicated any emission of radiation beyond the background and this is why we obtained our safety certifications okay I'm just looking to see if there's any more I'm going to scan my questions Oh, this is go. This goes back a long time, back in I don't know when. When you many early in the days of the Journal of Nuclear Physics, uh, there were people who placed orders for the home unit ECAT. You have received. Uh, 
you promised to keep the waiting list in order. So this person is asking, what position do I have on the waiting list? <laughs> okay. The, obviously, I can only say, I do not know. We, he has the same positions that he had before. I can guarantee. As well as I can guarantee that we have conserved perfectly all these uh, this addresses and when the home he get will enter in the market the absolute um, precedence the absolute uh, the order this order of delivery will be absolutely respected what do you feel would be the fastest way to deploy your technology to the world Install plants. Keep looking to see if there's anything new coming. Oh. oh. How can the LENR community help promote this technology? And this is a follow-up from Thomas earlier. I missed this one. What can professional engineering societies do to help spread the knowledge of this new technology? Well, you have my email address. Let's talk about that. You know, it is not easy. <clears throat> This question is serious, must be taken seriously. To be taken seriously must, cannot be answered now with uh, in, in, in the 20, 30 seconds of an answer. I can tell you this, this, uh, this question comes from Thomas Kaminsky. He had ordered the, he had organized a meeting of the IEEE in Madison, Wisconsin. Very good. I thank you him very much and I am honored that uh, you and uh, your association I he, 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 that I well know and by the way they have published an important paper recently on this matter and uh, that I appreciate it very much and uh, uh, so to make something serious we must to take, ser to take seriously the, you know my email address and I will be delighted to be contacted by you or by anybody of this community that wants uh, sincerely and uh, with malicious intent work uh, in uh, collaboration with us. Dear Andrea, Leonardo Corporation is oriented on generating profit, do you think that there is some defined amount of money you would accept for disabling the f future sale of your inventions and shelving it indefinitely? Well, this is a question to whom I already have answered. This does not depend on me. I am selling licenses. Uh, I will sell licenses. Uh, we will. If the problem is that uh, intellectual property is a patrimony, if you devoid a company, even a licensee of an intellectual property, his investments are worth zero. They can sue us and ask titanic damages because they can ask damages for uh, lost profits for the future. They can damn, yes, you know, uh, they can destroy us and and the history of science and technology and the history of mankind in the industrial era so starting from the end of the 18th century up to now is that the intellectual property is at the base of every development in technology and in science to the service of mankind. You had mentioned that if a new power plant were to begin with using e a new power plant were to begin using ECAT technology, it would be feasible. With a COP of 57, 
wouldn't the company using your technology be wildly successful compared to even the cheapest energy competitors? Well, I think that uh, uh, I want not uh, that we become the first of the class because, you know, the first of the class is... Uh, um, what I am saying, what, what I always say is that our technology is for sure a technology that can be integrated in the global energy system. Surely to make steam with a get is convenient. Would you allow a group of supporters, lay people such as myself, to purchase heat from an SK and use it for a purpose to heat a non-profit building, commercial building, and allow the public to view the unit in action, sort of a way to promote the technology? Well, I have always answered that to these questions. No, not always. Already. Sorry. I correct myself. I have already answered to that issue. Well, I think we are getting close to running out of questions. Very good. All right. Oh, by the way, if uh, uh, anybody wants, uh, uh, do you want to explain uh, what can do anybody that wants to put more questions even after? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will be here after the uh, presentation is over. If there are more questions, you can please continue to send them to my email, which I, uh, ecatworld at gmail.com and if there are questions that have not already been addressed then I can share I can ask them and then publish the answers so um, are there any closing remarks you'd like to make Andrea uh, yes I want to thank everybody that had the patience to to uh, uh, look partially or completely this presentation and uh, uh, now we have all to get back to work. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you. Uh, the ECAT is available now for industrial applications. If you, if your business requires safe, reliable, competitively priced heat, we encourage you to contact us. And that's the address to contact us right now. Um, once again, uh, thank you all for joining us, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to take a break now. If there was power that made the world wiser, it would generate in everyone's mind. We're all talkers. We're doers, survivors. We're all singers that won't be defined. But there's a song with a brand new stanza, like the strangest electronic ballet. And when we see the ballerina plasma of the dancing ECAT SK, I believe in the ECAD And we're all about to see what it does It's received and installed and we see that There's an ECAD industrial buzz For I believe in the ECAD And my energy's changing Our heat is carbon free and soon we'll see that heat will never be the same as it was. Now you might know what you might know and you might think what you might think, but you just might feel some small sense of surprise. If I read about it here and I dismissed it over there, but now I see it working right before my eyes. 
but I believe in the e and all the carbon will save and I'm happy to see the day that there's an e industrial wave for I believe in the e let's consider making an energy trade and I won't mind the hype because the future is so bright that we will all just have to wear shades and when we do the things we do we be the best that we can be who we are is something greater than we say there's a box of inspiration that creates a box of heat and it's ready to be installed again today but i believe in the ecad and it was all well worth the wait we could argue all day if we like that but there's really nothing left to debate so it might surprise us too if we see something new and we did not expect to hear it when we say that we all belong and we can sing one new song and we can install an ecad sk we all belong and we can sing one new song and we can install an ecad sk